to make a big ass turn here fast. Oh, well that pucker is over kind of. Just wanted to say thank you to you all for getting us off the dock. Uh, current was pretty funny, but uh, again, amazing stay. Guys, you're all fantastic. Thank you. You guys have a safe trip. And see you next time. You're just standing by 16, 71. John Hunter, standing by 16. He tried, he tried to get the cables. <laughs> now it's your turn to pucker. Wow, that was Yeah, he almost hit the dinghy and the cables. We got to turn and we have to go. And if we hesitate, we're going to have a problem. <laughs> when you were, when we was turning, like, I'm like, oh my God, you're going to hit that guy. <laughs> Turn I, in the back. I know, but I knew the current was going to push us around. Uh. So that was like, okay. Here we are, all the best laid plans for the last three days. Totally changed. Construction crew finally showed up, but early. Marina damaged from the hurricane. So, uh, you know, with five knots of current going against us, uh, can you guys please leave now? Which was cool, actually, that those guys surprisingly knew what they were doing and they helped with ropes were very good yeah we did make it out but a 360 turn in the center of the marina uh, reminded me of some things in the olden times yeah when you started turning around and i was on the back with a drone my in my hands i was like oh my god he's gonna hit that boat and that boat is what like a couple of million yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> i'm like oh, oh my god this is, he gonna like he gonna hit it every time we are leaving i have like a, a lump in my stomach and i'm like oh my god what's gonna happen and you can read all you want, you can study all you want, but when this moment comes, uh-oh. <laughs> like, uh-oh, oh, oh, yeah, oh shit, what's gonna moment. happen? There's another boat over there that sunk from the hurricane. Huge frickin' currents. Now I know why that catamaran aborted the uh, transfer to the bridge because this is like six and a half knots of current. Don't really want to go through this sideways. Gotten spoiled being on the ocean. I've forgotten that over there you just point the boat and have a coffee. Actually, have to navigate here. It always makes me nervous going under a bridge with these masts.
you say let's stop and take the dinghy, I didn't know you meant it literally that we're getting hooked on a sandbar. Now I need to check and see if the tide's coming in. If it is, we can raise up with natural water. So what are we doing? Are we gonna be calling Tobo to us if, if basically nothing is happening? We have a bunch of dolphins around us. I don't think they're gonna help. You <laughs> mean like nothing happening? Like the water going up? Well, we have a lot of current and uh, let's see what's gonna happen here with the water before we call. How is that amazing contour shading that you were bragging about working out for you? The good news is, is now our contour shading is hopefully where someone else isn't going to go. I just finished purchasing all the contour shading so that we would not run aground. Well, here we are. Right here where it, we were, and now we've drifted to here, and surprise, it says hazard. So what you trying to do? I'm using this fancy app by Boat US Tow Service and went ahead and put in a digital request for running aground. <laughs> so you're actually gonna call them? Yeah. So we're not gonna wait for the high tide? You know, I don't want to be getting off of this maybe at night at night and then trying to navigate up the ICW. That's probably true. That's why we pay for this service is you've not been in the ICW unless you run aground. Right. <laughs> That's it, what everybody says who ran aground. And it's been how many years? To feel better. What? Three years. Three years? Since yeah. we've been on the ICW, maybe longer. Right. Normally we're in the ocean where we don't have to worry about running into anything but big ships. Ooh. I think uh, the current, oh, that was a boat went by. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> like we're not happening? sinking. No, we're not yeah. sinking because we're sitting on the ground. <laughs> okay, good. It doesn't really look like it's moving much. We'll see. Hopefully he can get us off some dew. He's actually not very positive <laughs> that he can get us off because the tide is still pretty low, but he's trying. So we lean. Yeah, we lean, but it doesn't look like Well, no, we lean and we moving. turn from there all the way to here. So but he had to let up so this boat can get by. Yeah, so we move quite a bit. And this guy wants to come over and see what's going on. The rope snaps and they get cut into pieces. And then he wants to create a wake. Create a wake? Yeah. Interesting. Well, we're moving slowly. We're moving. Yay! Looks like it's working. Just a moment. Yeah, we're we're running. I just haven't put anything in gear. All right, all right. 
Yeah, it's showing me I'm fine here. All right. Yeah, that's a smart move. Okay. What's he saying? He's saying he's going to pull us past these sand dunes and to follow him with the boat in low gear, which uh, now we just have to follow him. But that way we don't get hung up again. We have to do this all over again. So back on track? Back on track. Nothing like a nice sandwich break. Dolphins telling us where to go. That'll be the last time you say this is a great place to set an anchor. It was like five minutes prior. I said it would be nice to take it in your shore <laughs> and we hit the tent bar. I think more like three minutes. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're back on the way, so. Yeah, two hours behind schedule, but. There is no schedule when you're boating. Yeah. so happy to be back in blue water. I missed the ocean. That ICW is a disaster. Bridges, run aground, uh, people that don't have any etiquette. I, I'm not going back in the ICW like forever. Well, I don't think it was that bad actually. Versus the ocean, I was able to make food, make a coffee. It was so chill and relaxed. That was like, to me, that was a perfect trip. And who didn't run the ground, like you said? Everybody did. Here's the coffee, by the way. <laughs> you know, everything's perfect for you when I and the autopilot are taking care of the boat. When the autopilot died, I was peeing in a cup. <laughs> so, <laughs> I don't know what you were doing. <laughs> yeah, lucky for me, I don't have to use a cup. And we are safe and sound in the keys, so we can recuperate. You can fix the boat. <laughs> and we can head out. So. I'm, I'm happy. You've been at it uh, for three days and we have to leave soon. Are you making any progress or this doesn't look good? As you would assume, this 30 year old autopilot has died on us and there's nothing that replaces it. I'm gonna have to redesign the whole unit but I did have, I guess three years ago, bought a spare, pulled the spare out and I'm rewiring it so that I can use the new autopilot controller. The wiring's completed, it tests here good on the bench. Now I have to get in this hole and pull the old one out and then get this new one or this rebuilt one back in there. Well, can't you just buy a replacement for this old autopilot or maybe like a newer system that you can kind of make it work for this boat? that is from the newer boat. What I found by calling all over is they don't make a motor that's big enough, strong enough, and has the speed to go our rudder angle from port to starboard. That's why everybody has converted over to a hydraulic. But at this point with the chain drive, I'm going to go with this and then research and probably have to come up with a hydraulic alternative. Hopefully this is gonna make us move along. If not, you and I are gonna just be autopilot A and autopilot B. This drive system is actually bigger than the one we had. It's the largest one they make. It's a different sprocket and larger diameter. The good news is, is that this is for the much larger vessels. So I think we've got a chance on this one working better than what the other one had worked. It's all positive thinking. I took the old sprocket off the old one and putting it now on this unit and then I'll be able to mount this all back into place and we'll actually be able to test it here in, in about an hour. Well, 
why you always have to hit your head. This is like every time can be any part, but it's always your head. <laughs> you know, I had a cap on there for the last hour and it got in the way, so I moved it. Yeah. Where is it? I can't see there is light shining right in my head. Ah, shit. Hey. All right, that's enough. No, wait. Nurse on duty. Nursing duty. If you need me, I'm here around. Hey, finally. We've got an autopilot that's functioning. The motor's replaced, drive, chain, and... I'm going port and... I can put it all back together and get our boat looking like a boat again instead of a science project. I thought that our journey was going to be ending of boat repairs and only showing exotic fish and reefs. There is an exotic fish right here. <laughs> <laughs> Erotic fish? <laughs> <laughs> Put this patient back together. Test, test. <laughs> test, test. <laughs> Pass? Pass. Testing, testing.